Hello everybody, welcome to Couchbase Coding with Matthew Groves. This is a 10 minute slice of my day as a developer advocate, live on Twitch every day, Matthew D. Groves. Check out old episodes on YouTube, send me questions, comments on Twitter or email. So today I'm going to work on this uh, issue here that uh, my uh, teammate Nick Raboy uh, sent over to me. He has on Couchbase Labs on GitHub, which is here on the screen, uh, Couchbase Labs is where we put a lot of our code samples and community projects and stuff that's you know Couchbase related, but it's not like officially supported. And Zoomit is freaking out again. They must not like Chrome. Um, this is where we put a lot of uh, that kind of stuff. This is where I put all my blog posts, for instance. Um, but he's got an example here that's um, a Docker. Let me just bring over the the README. It's a uh, it's a Couchbase. With uh, with Happy JS running on Node as an example project, but it's all running in Docker. And that, this is really the first time looking at it today, uh, so uh, I'm going to go through here and, and try to get this to work. But there's an issue that that comes up here. Uh, this this uh, guy Crutchcorn uh, is getting an error, and uh, go through this uh, thread here. And there's apparently some issues that Nick's trying to work through, but he asked me to take a look at this. Uh, to deploy on my machine, since uh, Nick is a Mac user and I uh, generally stay away from Mac and I use Windows, but there may be a Hyper-V issue here that he wants me to, to find out if, if something uh, Windows specific that's causing an issue. So, I'm going to just go work through this project and uh, follow the instructions. Um, so, I've already got Docker for Windows installed. And this might be uh, tricky with the zooming and stuff. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to have to clone this repo here first. So I've been using a tool lately called Git Kraken, uh, which is a, a UI for Git. You could also use, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the command line as well. But I, I also am going to just use Git Kraken and let's put in my folder here. And it'll be Docker Happy Node Example. And if you're not familiar with uh, Happy, it's kind of like Express, but a different sort of approach to it, I guess. Uh, it's just uh, endpoint, kind of like if you're if you're doing C sharp, it's kind of like Web API. Uh, think of it like that. Okay, so I've done that part. I've cloned the repo. We will go into that folder. Docker Happy. So up here. Oops. Wrong side. All right, so we're going to go into uh, CD Docker happy node example, okay? And then a Docker compose is what he suggests I do next. So let's see if that works. Docker compose up dash D. Okay, so while that's running, uh, looks like we got some comments here. So Nick is saying zoom in with a little smiley face. Yeah, I got to work on the zooming thing. Uh, I really got to figure that out. I run at a very high resolution, typically. So now another comment from Parsit says, uh, lower the resolution of your monitor to 720p. Okay, um, that, that would make sense. So next episode, I will lower the res down. And hopefully that will make things a little more readable. Uh, so, you know, I'm learning as I go. This is definitely an experiment. Uh, I'm, not, I'm kind of afraid to try it now. I'm not sure how uh, OBS will react to resolution change. OBS is, uh, is the tool I'm used to streaming to Twitch. So, but I'll definitely give that a try for next time. So, what this is doing, I assume we can look at the... Uh, oh, looks like it's already done. So, never mind. I was going to look at the Docker Compose file. And, and show what this actually is doing. But I think what it's doing is it's getting Couchbase and it's getting um, Nick's code that runs on Node. So I think Node is also going to be there as well. There's going to be two different machines running inside the Docker host, I believe. It's my, uh, well, it looks like it's still downloading. We can go look at it. We got a Docker Compose file, which is just YAML that gives instructions. On what to do. So yeah, it's setting up two different services, database, and that's where Couchbase is going to be running, with uh, you know 
specific environment, passwords, and, and so on. And then API, which is where Node's going to be running, which is just going to, that's going to, where Happy's going to run, it's going to be on top of Couchbase. So I guess I can zoom in a little bit here. He's using Aaron's uh, image for some reason here. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe Aaron's got this environment stuff set up to run Docker. Uh, Aaron's another Couchbase employee. He's he works as sort of a consultant, um, but he's done a lot of uh, Couchbase work in production. All right, let's see how Docker is doing. I'm still downloading. Okay, this is going to be a lot of downloading this episode. Uh, so another comment from Parsit. Uh, the other thing you can do is switch to a new scene in OBS that shows only your capture monitor. This shouldn't affect your stream. Yeah, you, know, you know, I I definitely will experiment with this a little bit. Uh, as we go. I also forgot to set a timer because I want these to be uh, 10 minutes long. Um, but it looks like there's a timer on OBS. So we're at six minutes right now. Seeing some error messages here. Um, info begin pre-build install. Info looking for... We've got 404. It's interesting. But it's still going. Okay, looks like more error messages. I'm not sure if these are supposed to be showing or not. Um, like I said, I've never run this before, but I think at the end of this, once it actually finishes provisioning and runs it, I should be able to hit an endpoint uh, with Postman or a browser or something. Okay, let's see. It's finished. Successfully built, successfully tagged. So if, let's just do a Docker PSA here and see that we've got two things running. So we've got the Docker Happy Node example running and we've got the Couchbase uh, instance running there. So that's that seems good and uh, in the chat there Nick says it looks good as well. Which I should probably squish this chat up a little bit. I think, yeah. There we go. Alright, so then let's just see if uh, we'll bring up Postman and see if that actually will run. So I, I guess the first thing we can try, and we see if Couchbase is actually running. We'll go to localhost8091. I believe it was administrator password, which you should never use in production. Looks like that's running just fine. There's an example bucket. So that's that looks good. And the other, the other thing it said to do was uh, localhost3000. So we'll bring up Postman here. And we'll bring, uh, let's see. HTTP, localhost 3000. Let's just do a get there and see what happens. Hello, Sacramento. So it seems like it's working just fine. Uh, Nick suggests doing a post next. So we'll post to the customer endpoint with a body of... Um, I'll just copy and paste it here. Why not? A body of... Just a JSON body of first name, last name. I'll put my name in here. Again, this is probably hard to see because of the font size, so get that fixed next time. Uh, well, let's just see a post, see what happens here. So it says bad request, um, invalid payload JSON format. Did I screw some? Oh yeah, this isn't valid JSON. Got to put quotes around this. I copy and paste the Nick and see what happens. Let's try it again. Okay, that looks like it worked. We got an ID here, so if I switch over to Couchbase it should be a document in this example. So it seems to be working. I'm not having any Hyper-V issues or anything like that. Uh, so probably what I'll do is I'll just leave a follow-up comment here. Although you both might be watching already, so I'm not sure the point of the comment is other than for the public record. Uh, just tried it on my Windows machine and it seemed to work okay. Uh, maybe check out my live stream. <laughs> I live streamed it, so if you want to follow along, it will be on YouTube soon. Okay, so there we go. All right, so that's 10 minutes is up for today, and it uh, looks like I validated that Nick's uh, Docker Compose and example is working just fine. So uh, if there's a problem, Nick, it's, it's not uh, anything in your Docker Compose file, so that's good news. 
All right, everybody, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, probably be a little later tomorrow, maybe around 1-ish. And I'll try the better resolution again tomorrow. So thanks for watching.